This is my first time to Charleston, and I've been blown away by how welcoming everybody is. I, everybody seems really excited about my work, about meeting me, and the response from the arts community and the city and the roller girls and everyone has just been amazing. And I think a lot of that positive energy translated into the work I created in this show. I've worked on a lot of big projects before but I've always done it alone, or maybe I'd have a friend come in for an hour or two at a time, help me do a little painting. But for this show, I had a whole army of Redux interns and roller girls and arts people from the community. It was really great because I had all these people around that I could talk to, and everybody kind of came together as a community and had a lot of fun. So I was really glad that I could bring people together. They could help me do more that I would have been able to do on my own. So it was a really great group experience. When it comes to the process of my work, the first thing I do is take photographs at the roller derby bouts. And I really like to do it when the girls aren't really aware that I'm photographing them so I can get some action shots without them really acknowledging the camera. And then I go through hundreds of photographs and find hopefully one or two that I actually like. And then I take it in the computer and really alter it until I can break it down into really simplistic images that I can use. And from there, I play around with different colors, uh, juxtaposing it with other imagery that I have. And once that's done, then I will transfer it onto a canvas or a wall or for digital prints straight from there. Once I put it onto a canvas or a wall, then I <laughs> paint it until I can get my colors really flat Basically, I want it to look like a screen print, except that everything is hand-painted and there's only one of them. We were planning the opening reception for this show. The one thing that I told Karen was that I really like my opening receptions to be spectacles, uh, that everybody can come and have fun and it's more of a party than a stuffy art opening. She came back to me a few weeks later and said, how about a skating parade? She organized a skating parade with the city, shut down a couple of the main streets in Charleston so we could roller skate through the city. And then the Low Country High Rollers got involved with that. All of them dressed up to look like candy, like my art exhibit. And uh, basically we had a lot of fun. That was really colorful, loud, getting people skating through the community and coming back to the opening where there was a huge crowd of people uh, we had DJs playing, we had a gigantic disco ball that was donated to us, and basically it was really fun. It's everything I wanted it to be. I was so happy and just had fun, and so many other people came up and said, it's the most fun I've ever had at an art opening, and that was the point. <laughs>